salts all salts are ionic compounds it means a salt is a combination of ions and we all know that only oppositely charged ions can stay together due to their opposite charges they have attraction so salt is a combination of a positive and a negative ion that is a cation and an anion when these two ions are joined together or combined together they form salt okay salts uh, another definition for salt is they are product of acid and base reaction so whenever an acid reacts with a base it produces salt and water which is neutralization reaction when an acid reacts with a base salt which is formed contains the anion which is coming from acid and the cation which is coming from base so the positive part present in a salt is a part of base and the negative part present in a salt is part of an acid besides this whenever an acid reacts with any metal or metal carbonate or any alkali this reaction will also produce a salt for suppose when acid reacts with a metal it produce salt plus hydrogen gas whenever an acid reacts with any metal carbonate it will produce salt water and carbon dioxide whenever any acid reacts with a base it will produce salt and water and whenever an acid reacts with an alkali it will produce salt and water during the reaction one or more hydrogen ions of an acid is replaced by a, by the positive part of base that is metal or sometimes if the base is ammonium hydroxide then ammonium ion so for example this is acid acid negative part and this is the positive part that is hydrogen of an acid so this hydrogen will be replaced by the positive part of base and it will produce this product which is salt for example acid is hydrochloric acid and base is sodium hydroxide so according to this the h or hydrogen positive ion of acid will be replaced by the positive part of base that is metal so we have to replace this hydrogen with na here so it will give nacl so this is sodium chloride which is commonly known as table salt and we use it in our daily routine and this h and this oh will combine to produce water so this is the salt which is formed due to replacement or substitution of positive part of base with the positive part of acid another example for suppose hydrochloric acid reacts with potassium hydroxide that is base again 
This is the positive part of acid, negative part of acid, positive part of acid and negative uh, base and negative part of base. So this positive part that is the metal of base will replace this H positive of acid to produce a salt KCl that is potassium chloride and this will again make water. Now, how can we make a specific salt by using uh, any specific acid, a metal carbonate, a metal or a base or alkali. So here are a few examples. For example, we are using zinc metal and react it with hydrochloric acid. So this is the metal which are positively charged and in acid we know that chloride is negative while hydrogen is positive. So simply we have to replace the H with this metal to produce the salt that is zinc chloride ZnCl. Zn has positive 2 char charge, Cl has negative 1 charge. So these both numbers are different so we have to write or crisscross their numbers. So we have to write ZnCl2 instead of ZnCl and we usually do not write or show 1. For suppose uh, we have a metal carbonate copper carbonate CuCO3 and the acid which we are going to use is nitric acid that is HNO3. So from the carbonate metal carbonate the metal which is positively charged will replace the hydrogen of acid so this will become CuNO3 that is copper nitrate and again we have positive 2 charge over copper and negative 1 charge over NO3 that is nitrate ion so these two numbers are different so we have to write this 2 here but as we know that this 2 is with this whole ion so we have to add a bracket and then we have to write 2 so CuNO3 to copper nitrate salt will form by reacting copper carbonate with nitric acid for suppose we have magnesium oxide which is a uh, metal oxide and metal oxides are basic in nature so this is magnesium positive 2 and this will have negative 2 charge and for suppose we are taking H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid here so we have to replace this hydrogen again with the positive part of the metal oxide so we will replace this hydrogen with this Mg. So it will give us Mg SO4 magnesium sulfate salt. So we have positive 2 charge on magnesium and negative 2 charge on sulfate. So both the numbers are same here. So we do not need to write these charges with these ions. For suppose aqueous ammonia NH3 aqueous that is ammonia gas which is dissolved in water is known as aqueous ammonia we treat this with H2SO4 so in aqueous ammonia, ammonia is in the form of ammonium ion that is NH4 positive. So again, we have to replace this hydrogen of acid with this positively charged ammonium ion. So it will give NH4 SO4 ammonium sulfate. But again, Ammonia has a positive 1 charge and sulfate has a negative 2 charge. So we have to write this 2 with this NH4 in order to make 
a stable compound so we write 2 here nh 4 2 so 4 is the correct formula for ammonium sulfate salt for suppose uh, we are using an alkali potassium hydroxide and the acid which we are using is phosphoric acid H3PO4 so this is the metallic part or positive part of base and this is the negative part of base so we have to replace this hydrogen with the positive part or metallic part of base so it will become K P O 4 potassium phosphate okay again PO4 ion it is it is a polyatomic ion has a negative 3 charge on it so and potassium has a positive 1 charge so negative 3 so we have to write this 3 here with potassium so k3 po4 is the correct formula for potassium phosphate